internet welcome back to my channel today i have my first plan with me in what feels like many months now especially after i moved out of my erin condren life planner so i'm really excited to do this and it's also featuring a brand new kit that i just released to my sticker shop so if you're interested you can check out the link below my store is called happy clouding um, but basically this is an autumn slash fall kit i've had the digital files for this for i think probably a year or two now so I've only finally gotten around to putting them into a kit all this all the watercolors that you see here were created by Violet Violet is the artist behind a lot of the creations you'll find in Happy Clouding but she also runs a ton of different stores on her own so I will link her stuff down below as well so you can go check her out so this is the clip art sheet which doesn't come by default with the kit it's kind of an extra because I find that some people like it some people don't so I just put it to the side so the kit otherwise the rest of the kit comes with every sheet you see here so you've got your ombre check boxes by the way this is going to be a little different to some of my previous kits I reformatted parts of it to kind of suit my new planning needs because I find myself leaning more to wanting to journal with me as opposed to plan with me. This one's a plan with me because I'm planning ahead of time, but maybe in the future I may decide to do journals with me instead so that I'll be working on spreads that are a little bit more past, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking about it, but anyways. So this is the activities and label sheets. You'll notice that I've kind of squished a lot more activities here and reduced the number of labels. I just felt like I never used, I used to have a column for extras, so it was like to-dos, today extras I never use that column so I decided to just stick with the to do's today's and I spread it across so you could get different colors and then I just added a couple extra different labels that suited what I would use and so I hope would suit other people as well um, and then I put a bunch of extra quarter boxes and half boxes yeah the, these half boxes all used to be curved now these are like sharp corner boxes i use these so much more now so it just felt like it made sense to include these then we've got the full boxes that hasn't changed this particular sheet as you can see has been reformatted quite a bit actually maybe i'll just zoom in instead of holding it up yep there we go um so these checklists they used to be i think seven they were all the same length so I've reduced them so that four of them are full length and four of them are like half length I tend to use half lengths more I always found that if I used the checklist I was always cutting them so I felt like this made a little bit more sense the date covers are the same um, except now we are featuring Violet's beautiful calligraphy which I'm so happy about um, I've changed this a bit just to include a few more flags these have changed as well and what you'll notice is that these are kind of like washi strips now I never really used all the washi strips I had and the thing that really irritated me about the way I used to do washi strips or at least the way you'll see them in older kits which eventually if people like this then I will go ahead and reformat some of the old kits as well is that there used to be gaps between each of these strips so if for example if I wanted to include this entire box as kind of like a half full box if I put the stickers together it starts to look a little the, the pattern looks disjointed because they weren't right up against each other whereas now I've just cut them in the middle and here so that if you want to stack them then it looks like a cohesive design but you don't have to so it kind of gives you that option whereas before you wouldn't have that option so really happy about that that was something i really wanted to change about my kit and then this has definitely changed quite a bit as well it used to always just be one strip um, but now you'll see three i'm not sure if i'm going to stick with three or maybe go to two part of why i put three in is because i am using the whistle and birch planners which does have that little top um, section which you'll see let me quickly show you you would have seen in the, the review video that I did but you can see here they've got this little note section up here and so I figured I could do like a little strip that just kind of covers it if I feel like it granted not everyone using the vertical kit is planning in their whistle and birch I'm sure many are still using life planners and happy planners and so many other designs so I thought maybe hopefully this will give a bit of flexibility but we'll see how we go and then I've got the habit tracker and then a really small ombre checkbox here and then the last sheet which changed a little bit is I changed the glitter texture so it's just a bit softer this one is a mistake it's supposed to be ombre and you can see I have a panel missing here so that's kind of why I'm using it in this video because I always give myself all the misfits or the miscut stickers I never use perfectly cut stickers for myself because I always put those on for sale instead but yeah the proper version which you can check the listing for I've got photos of it won't have this it'll be properly ombre 
they used to be like mini icons here and some labels and I got rid of those as well because I just never used them I didn't think they were very useful and then so I just shifted the icon boxes down here so yeah those are all the changes that I've made to the kit format I have another kit that I want to release probably in a couple weeks time I'm probably going to adopt the same kit format I'm not really sure I feel like every time I create a new kit I will always tweak the format until I feel like it really suits and I obviously take on feedback from any of my customers and see what people like. So yeah, that is pretty much the new kit format. I'm really excited because I haven't actually released a new kit in so long now. So I'm really excited to finally get something out there. I'm really glad to have something brand new. And this, and this is the week we'll be planning in, which I think if all goes well, this video would probably go out on Wednesday, Australian Melbourne time, so the 19th. I am planning the weekend prior, so that's why this is really more planned with me. But uh, like I said, in the future, I might switch to journal with me. So first thing I'm going to do is put down my bottom strips, um, headers, date covers, weather stickers. Yes, weather stickers and then uh, anything extra and then I'll be right back. So far so good. This is kind of like a test for me as well because I have not used this particular theme and I haven't used this particular format before so we'll go with it. I unfortunately couldn't white out the stuff behind because I'm filming in a different location at the moment and I don't have any white out tape which is really annoying because it's going to bug me but that's okay. Maybe we'll fix it later. I just realized I did this whole part and completely cut off from the screen but basically I'm just going to jump around a little bit. That's how I naturally would plan ahead when I'm planning without a camera so I'm just gonna do what comes naturally um so Thursdays I always go Thursdays first because Thursdays has a little bit more structure to the day than most other days especially now that we are in lockdown and um I've got date night obligatory date night that happens every Thursday night and then before date night we would have our Japanese lesson so sorry I'm planning at a weird angle today so please forgive me if everything seems a little bit strange I wish I had a camera to show you exactly what my setup looked like because I'm kind of like leaning over and there's a lot of table space, but that's okay. We'll go with it. So we still have Japanese lessons, which I'm so grateful for. I honestly was a little concerned when all this stuff was happening at the beginning. Um, not about not being able to learn Japanese. I was pretty sure even if I didn't have school, I would figure a way out. I actually was more concerned about my teacher because I know that this was his only job and he was very dependent on students. And if we didn't enroll or we didn't stay with him, and I knew a lot of students were probably not going to stay. Yeah, partially because a lot of students are a little bit younger than themselves in school. So they'd be working those part-time jobs in hospitality. So they might, might not be able to actually pay their bills now given the hospitality industry as a whole so I figured he'd probably be losing students so I thought even if they wouldn't offer remote lessons I would still want to pay his salary anyway somehow which sounds like a lot but honestly I love my teacher so much I just felt really ob like not obligated but I just really wanted to make sure that he was still able to pay his own bills because I was lucky enough that my job has essentially been pretty unaffected just because I do work in IT so that in that sense I kind of want to make sure I can help those around me um, sorry, completely lost my train of thought. So Monday is start of the work week. Um, for some reason I cannot plan and talk at the same time. I just kind of, yeah, <laughs> just go through a blank. But I did want to spend this video just kind of chatting with you guys and updating you on everything. I feel like in my bullet journal video I probably did a little bit of an update but 
probably not as much as I would like to, at least not enough detail. I think I'll use a full box here. I may, I really like this leaf design. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And of course the coffee cup is a little bit overlapping. So we'll see how we go. But yeah, if you haven't watched my previous bullet journal video, then and uh, you aren't in Australia, or you don't read the news, I guess, like if you're in Australia, you probably know about it, but Melbourne is in its second lockdown. We are currently in stage four lockdown, which is honestly quite a major deal because so much is locked down. It's almost like the New Zealand lockdown, except with quite a few exceptions in terms of restaurants and cafes and stuff are still able to operate, which I'm really glad for that, um, both for myself, but also to keep everyone's jobs. Um, this is week two now, so I think we've been doing this for two weeks. We've got four weeks left. And yeah, it's been pretty major. All the schools are shut down, all the kinders and daycares and everything, unless you're a permitted slash essential worker, then I think the deal's gonna be probably a little bit different. But it's a pretty major shutdown. Um, and there's a lot of restrictions on, you can't leave your house. Like you can only leave your house for set reasons or certain reasons. And you can also only, um, only one member of your household can leave, which is sucks, but I get it. Like I'm not against it or anything like that. Um, because Tobias and I would usually go grocery shopping together. If you've watched any of my vlogs, you would have seen that. And now we, we guess can't go grocery shopping together anymore, at least not for the next four weeks. So. It didn't matter too much. We were starting to shift a lot of our grocery shopping online. And so we do that online now, but he will occasionally still have to drop by the shops to pick up stuff that we may have forgotten, which is quite often <laughs> um, because you do have to kind of do grocery shopping quite ahead. So you really need to plan ahead. And because the delivery slots always get booked out, so many people are doing online grocery shopping now. So yeah. A lot of life has changed. Oh, and masks are mandatory, which took me a little while to get used to because um, I'm just not used to wearing a mask. But honestly, once you just get used to it, you get used to it and then it's really not a big deal. So yeah. And I'm like low key wanting to get different masks for different outfits and occasions, which may sound a little bit over the top, but I thought, you know, if we have to wear it, they're mandated. And I don't even know for how long they're mandated. It might be for the rest of the year, for all I know. Then I may as well have some fun with it. Okay, sorry. I am all over the shop, but that's pretty much it. I mean, I feel like most people in lockdown will not have many plans. And that's kind of the situation I'm in. So that's part of why I wanted to move to a journal with me sort of format. Because it's a lot more about documenting how I feel and my emotions and stuff like that. Feel like and then that's part of why i started off with thursday thursday is pretty much the only real structure day i still do work from home um and i think i mentioned in my bullet journal i've taken on a second job so i've been spending a bit of time with that as well not as much as i really should to be honest i feel like i've spent so much time this last week on the sticker shop and just trying to work out uh, what sort of releases I want to have how i'm going to consolidate because there's a lot of listings i have on there that honestly i'm not really happy with and I think I want to get rid of so um oops no no I release on Tuesday and then Wednesday as well okay so I'm just the, I'm using these stickers to mark down the YouTube videos I intend to upload and I'm trying to schedule ahead a little bit more than I usually do to give myself a little bit more mental headspace I feel like I function a lot better if I do give myself good headspace so that's what I'm trying to do but yeah, this week has actually been surprisingly pretty positive, really good. Um, I think just a lot of things are starting to settle and then we're just really getting used to the situation that we're in. Yeah, one of the things we're really looking forward to, well, I'm really looking forward to, I'm pretty sure Tobias is as well, is the warmer weather. We are almost about to hit spring. Um, spring starts in September for us in Australia. And I'm so, so excited to actually start working on the garden again. We had to pretty much put a hold on the garden because winter was coming and it was basically killing all our plants. The cold weather is terrible. And I actually couldn't find a glass house in time. I was actually looking for glass houses online 
just to see if I could find anything suitable, but I couldn't find any online. I think it's just because everyone was experiencing the lockdown and so everyone <laughs> probably had the same idea that they wanted to um, start spending a bit more time on gardening and growing stuff. But yeah, without a glass house, it was really hard to get anything to survive unless I brought it indoors and I didn't want to bring a whole bunch of plants indoors because I know that, I don't know, for some reason I have the worst luck when it comes to plants indoors. They always attract insects and so I end up having tons of bugs everywhere. So it didn't make sense for me. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to redo the backyard. I really want to bring in a bunch of really beautiful Japanese plants just to kind of give it that more relaxed um, oriental feel. Maybe I should do this as a voiceover next time so I can just focus on planning and then just babbling on on top of it. Um, I'm trying to think about what I'm actually going to be doing next week. It's kind of hard. I'm only working and I don't think I've got any calls or gaming nights planned. Oh, we do have, yeah, we do have a cookies night a day, if that makes sense. Um, my coding group, we're going to be catching up on Saturday. So I should put that in and mark that down. And actually, because we've been doing a lot of grocery shopping online, maybe I will mark down that groceries need to arrive as well. Um, yeah, let's do that. So because we need to plan so far ahead, we usually will buy groceries on a Tuesday or Wednesday. And the earliest they can deliver is usually on the weekend. So that's how far ahead we need to plan. I don't know if most people are used to planning that far ahead. I'm certainly not, which is why I struggle with it. And that's why come the weekend I'll be like, oh, I wish we ordered all this other stuff because I completely blanked on it and didn't think to do that. Sorry if I'm cut off a little bit. I don't think I'm going to fill my plan on these in this location anymore because um, this area that I'm in is usually the studio. I film in like face to face videos. And I usually just film right at my desk, my working desk for planner videos, but I've been taking photos today for the store. So I thought I would just stay up here and set up. But the problem is the camera that's filming the one here is pushed quite far ahead. So like if I have my elbow to the edge of the table, this is how far out. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's just a lot of space. So I'm very used to pulling this a bit closer to me because it's quite far ahead. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Yeah. I put a little checkbox up here because Sundays, even though today's not Sundays, I feel like Sundays are usually my filming days and for sure next week because we have um, the coding work on the Saturday, I'm not going to be able to film anything except on Sunday and I think I need to film my bullet journal video on Sunday, which means I need to actually draft that out this weekend or during the week. I like to have that drafted out so I can go into it without any worries or trying to guess what I should be filming. If that makes sense. I really enjoy trying to lay stickers like this. I'm not very good at it. I see people who are, are amazing at it and I'm less than amazing, not even close, and that's a little crooked, but we'll move right along. I'm just marking down payday because that's the Etsy payday. Um, I'm struggling to kind of fill these out at the moment because I probably should be putting check boxes down and I've been trying to avoid putting them down. You can see this sheet is like not even used, but maybe I need to put a few check boxes down just so it makes sense. Yeah, the only reason I'm trying to avoid check boxes now um, is because I don't really reference this journal as much as I used to for like um, my to-do list. My bullet journal is probably the single most accurate source now and I use that quite extensively. I think I do have a different journal and now that I just said that out loud, I realized that it's going to be really interesting to see, to compare the um, my journals for 2020 video to my actual journals for 2020, like what did I actually use? Because I think there's going to be quite a difference there. But um, I set up a different journal for my to-do list for anything external to my day job and the second job which is not related to any of my online activities um, because I felt like a little bit of separation would make sense. My bullet journal, I've started actually using my bullet journal a little bit more for my day job because there were so many little things I needed to remind myself which is why I've started just sharing the weekly spreads before I put to-dos in because I feel like once I put to-dos in I'm going to have to blur out basically like 80% of the to-do tasks 
I don't know if most people like that or they'll find that irritating. So I thought I would just photograph an unfilled weekly spread. And I think if it looks nice, maybe I will photograph it anyways and then just blur out anything that I can't show. But um, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna focus in on planning. So I'll speed this bit up with some music and then I'll be right back. I think I've pretty much put down as much as I can at this point but if you want to see a complete spread then be sure to follow me on a beautiful fable so the only sticker shops I can think of that were different was this one from Sunshine Sticker Co um, this one I think it's from oh hell Ashley or something but she's not around anymore or at least she's changed little two little bees the Coffee Monster Co Coffee Monster Co alley cat shop and then yeah i think that's pretty much it otherwise the rest are all stickers from my store happy cloud ink so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching this is selena reporting from my room back to you internet mm -hmm.